All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do everything outdoors. Uh, today, I'm in San Diego, and I'm gonna be doing some tuna fishing. So stick with us. Uh, it's gonna be an adventure because I've I've never done anything like this before. So tuna's super tasty. We're gonna do a little catch and cook at the end of this episode, but I guess we gotta catch the fish first. Yeah, I'm gonna like get my rod set up. bigger so we got a box full of bait and uh, a boat full of gas so hopefully we can get a cooler full fish. catch one skipjack and just drag it behind the boat for about 30 minutes and while I was taking a nap the meat got to reel it in so we at least have some meat. Um, it's about noon right now and uh, everybody's tired. I'm a little sleepy on the boat so crossing our fingers hoping for a tuna but worst case scenario we got a skipjack to make some poke with. Mead saying that it's the deadliest poke that there ever was, so I guess we'll get to try it out. It's all tuna. That's all tuna. Don't hook me. Oh! You're on? Snap me off. guys well a little update for you it's about 4:30, 5 o'clock and we haven't caught a bluefin yet um, it's been a tough day we haven't even hooked into one since the, uh, the first one this morning so I think this skipjack is in the cool underneath my feet it's gonna be our uh, our saving grace bluefin tuna fishing a little harder than I expected we were out here with fleet of five or six sport fishing boats that we saw. Um, we talked to them on the radio. And they only caught a handful of fish too and those boats have over 25 people each on them. So um, for a boat with four dudes on it, we had our shots but um, the tuner didn't want to eat the live bait and they didn't want to eat the uh, stick baits. So not much we can do there. Um, disappointing. But we got about a two hour drive to go back in. So I think we're going to start on it now. The next time you guys are going to probably see me, I'm going to be in the back of the truck either cleaning up that fish or uh, just throwing it together in a poke bowl. So. Uh. Uh, 
yip yet? Yeah. So is there blood and stuff that I got? Alright, third time's a freaking charm today. This is my third time filming this. Um, long story short, my last camera just went down. Um, my, my new camera just went down. The audio port's all jacked up on it, so I'm gonna have to get that looked at. But anyway, back on shore, obviously. Um, was just out there. Um, I'm in Point Loma, San Diego. This, uh, this area is pretty beautiful. I'm on a spot called Sunset Cliff, I believe. Um, I'm gonna apologize in advance for all the car traffic and then all of the human traffic. Um, I can't really find a spot right now that's, you know, not populated. So, um, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making some, some poke out of the back of the truck. Uh, I just did my cute little part where I show all the ingredients, um, do like the ASMR type deal, but I don't know if my microphone is working. Um, I don't really have time to redo all that because the sun's going down and I'm getting hungry, but all of the ingredients will be left in the description below. Um, but as I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted, um, fish is gonna get prepped. It needs to go in a marinade for 30 minutes and then go in the fridge. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is one of the ingredients in the marinade, the toasted sesame oil. If you guys have not smelled that, um, it is definitely worth the $10 for that bottle just to smell it. Um, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I don't know how often I'm gonna use that stuff, but I'm probably gonna smell it at least once a week. All right, so if you can see right here, um, this meat's got like some brownish stuff in it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this stuff off, and then it's got like some skin and fat and whatever on there. I'm just gonna cut all this stuff out of here and then get it into this bowl with our ingredients. Soy sauce, some um, rice vinegar, sesame oil, and then we got our ginger and lime, and then we're good. All right, and for the most part, that's all the scrap. Um, all the bloody stuff. I kind of butchered some of this, but it'll be okay. ring for the rice vinegar just broke. This is not sanitary. There we go. Come on, man. Fish is in the marinade, we're gonna cover that bad boy up. It's gonna sit in the fridge, and then we're gonna get our rice and all our stuff prepped. All right, so now it's time to cook the rice. Now, this is actually a trick I learned from you goobers. And by goobers, I mean the people of YouTube. So everybody on YouTube is a professional besides me. And you wanna fill up the base of it until you're at about your first knuckle. So that's not even close. All right, that's a little better. Just flatten it all out, make sure it's pretty even. And as you can see, maybe, it's right about to my first knuckle. Now we're gonna pour water in it until it goes up to my second knuckle at the same part. And as you can tell, it's gonna be about perfect. Might add a little bit more water actually, but it's looking good.
All right, folks, and we are sitting pretty. Rice is all done. Uh, all the stuff is prepped. <coughs> Oof, excuse me. <coughs> Got rice in my mouth. Yes, I did sneak some. Get these dusties out of here. Um, I'm get my bowl all ready. And... All right, so rice is done. Everything's all cut up. All that's left to do is all right, and there it is. Just like that, it's magic. So, okay with a view. Um, we got the mango in there. Got our skipjack and avocado. Now all that's left to do is to climb on into our home and enjoy a nice meal. Oh, and in case you're wondering what these are right here, um, Hannah was kind enough to buy me flowers yesterday. That's the first time in my life that I've ever had a girl buy me flowers. Much appreciated. I guess it's rude to have shoes on in my own bed. Come to Mav. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh. Alrighty. Well, it didn't take long at all. Probably took 45 minutes, I think, to get everything prepped and marinated and the rice cooked and whatever. I'm gonna give my poke a bite. Um, I did realize I forgot to wash my rice, which won't be the end of the world, but gotta make sure I get some mango in there, some radish. Dang, all right. Yeah, that skipjack's good. I'd say it's just as good, if not better, than the hotel I had earlier this week. And just tuna, like tuna steaks, like ahi tuna. One of my all-time favorite things to eat. This is surprisingly good. Um, for those of you that haven't eaten skipjack before, and if you have an opportunity to try it, um, this is my first and only time that I know of eating skipjack. That being said, I could have been eating it at restaurants all along. I'm not really knowing much of a difference. I honestly don't really notice that much of a difference than the yellowtail. Um, it might honestly be a little better, which is weird to say. I didn't think I'd be saying that, but I think that this might be a little bit better than the yellowtail that I ate. Don't beat yourself up trying to catch yellowtail. Just go out and catch skipjack. It's a lot easier. For taste on this, I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's hard to beat a poke bowl. Um, it's hard to beat fresh vegetables and fruit and fresh fish, so. Like, check this out. Like, if you didn't know that was skipjack, you'd think it, like, it looks like tuna. It looks exactly like tuna. If I have time within the next couple months, I would like to get some yellow fin and some skipjack and uh, go to my friend's house and have him try both and see if he can tell the difference. Do like a little blindfold taste test or something. Like I said, Right now I'm in San Diego, um, don't really know what I'm going to be doing next, um, but I do want to get out again and try to get some redemption on tuna. Um, maybe next time I won't go after blues, I'll go after yellowtail and yellowfin, because um, apparently those blues are tough to catch, but it just I just want to catch a big tuna. I don't really care if it's a big yellow or a big blue, I just I want to get a big one. I think that'd be fun. but. I guess I gotta start somewhere, and I should probably just start off by getting some smaller yellowtail. I'm sorry that the catch wasn't super included, but I just thought I'd share what a day on the water was like for me today. Um, so I wasn't able to get the targeted species today. Um, just goes to show you how tough it can be, but we were able to catch a skipjack and make one of my favorite fish dishes. Um, honestly, you can't go wrong. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of MAV. Um, I really appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. This channel's starting to blow up, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, I'm thinking about having my first meetup soon. I just don't know like where to have it at, if I should have it in LA, um, if I should try to have it in Minnesota like around Thanksgiving time, 
or what I should do. Um, if you guys are for that, leave a comment down below. Um, I really just want to like meet some subscribers. I've been meeting some people here and there, like going on trips with people um, and meeting them like just in person, just randomly. But um, I'm gonna be kind of cool to have a have a meet and greet. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. But anyway, um, I digress. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mav. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and these cars just keep on coming by. But until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking. Now I get to load up more fuel. Come on. Come on.